We're still here at Highborn Key waiting for some calmer weather. The transmission oil leak seems to have been fixed and we're going to take this opportunity to change the fuel filters on the Westerbeek diesel engine while we're here waiting. We've got three fuel filters. We've got our primary fuel filter, which also separates water, if you get any water in the fuel. And then we've got a filter inside of the first stage fuel lift pump. And then we've got a third filter right here, just before the engine mounted high pressure pump. Can't really see that one in the shadows there, but it's there. So we're gonna replace all three of them. And it's a little messy. Every one you open up, fuel dribbles out into your hands and you're spilling everywhere. And the other problem is you have to refill the cartridge with diesel fuel when you put it back in. So you're trying to pour fuel and of course in here it's even more of a nightmare. But we're gonna have at it. The design of this thing's terrible because when you open up the valve to let the drain open, it also leaks through the threads immediately. So it never quite works like it's supposed to. This is the fuel cartridge, or the filter cartridge rather. This is the bowl on the bottom that's supposed to catch any water as it flows through the filter and separate it. The water's heavier than the fuel so it would sink to the bottom. It also catches a few random little bits and pieces. So what we want to do is drain this all out into the bag. Uh, of course the boat's rocking like crazy and this diesel smells really strong. Are you getting nauseous? No, but it's not pleasant. Separate the fuel element here, filter element. And I don't run these anywhere near long enough for them to clog. With our, with our fuel as clean as it is, I could probably run one of those elements for a couple of years. But I like to change them out at least bare minimum once a season. Sometimes more if I'm motoring long distances like we are here. It's just not, not worth getting stuck somewhere for a clogged fuel filter for 20 bucks. You'll first notice the effects of a clogged fuel filter and the engine getting a little slower to start. Kind of cranks over for a long time and uh, it'll eventually get bad enough it'll lower your RPMs at the top end. You won't quite be able to reach full RPMs and then your engine will quit running. The new O-ring on the new filter element. And then we've got a new O-ring for the top end here too. That's gonna seal into this. Make sure we got nothing stuck on there. Then the messy part often here comes next. We have to fill this with diesel. The biggest problem is these stupid, stupid valves on these quote unquote no spill jugs. 
Well, oh, golly. Usually I do this on land and I can carry this out somewhere where I can set it up. I don't make a mess. Whoa, the boat's pitching. Okay. Sneak our hose through. Okay. That one is done. The second filter is inside the fuel pump here. So this one's a bit tricky as well. All right, voila. That filter actually looks really clean. Doesn't look like it's got hardly any dirt in it at all. You can see the the brand new one here as a comparison. So we probably could just put this one back in there. Doesn't look like it's got anything clogging it at all. Okay. So that's the second one. We just put it back in because it looks just great. Again, we, we change these a little more often than we need to, but it's better a little too early than a little too late. This right here is the third filter. We're gonna pull it out. It's probably the trickiest one to get to. I carry a five year supply of filters for each one of these. This one's got a little bit of stuff in it. Not much. It's actually really clean too. We're going to go ahead and replace it. This is where you'll see the, the evidence of microbial growth in your fuel tank, if you have any too, is in your fuel filters. And if you get a really bad case of microbial growth, you can go through fuel filters pretty quick which is why I carry so many of them on board. We put fuel additives in the tank to prevent that, but you never know when you didn't maybe quite add enough or you get some dirty fuel somewhere. That's always a possibility too. And until you eat through the rest of that tank of fuel, you can clog up filters pretty quick. So you don't want to be out far from home without plenty of filters on hand. And it's not just, you know, the one filter. You can clog all three filters and you've got a mess on your hands. All right, so here's the new filter element. I'll pull it out of here. Comes with two O-rings. One goes inside of here like that. And sometimes, yeah, it looks like it stayed in the, in the filter housing there. We're actually going to leave that. I usually replace those O-rings every time. They'd probably last for years and years and years. 
I replaced it last time so we're just gonna leave it of course you could get lazy too and not replace it for years and years and then get a get a leak with one okay now I'm gonna fill this part way with some diesel And if I recall, the trouble with this one is you can't, yeah, you can't get the the new element in there without a little bit of monkey work. This is the, the awkward part. I also have to be really careful not to accidentally get a little loose chip of paint or something on dropped inside the filter here because this goes directly in to the injection pump which is delicate to say the least you don't want to get mess in there any contamination oh I forgot the ring it's okay let's drink it Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay, make sure that gets on there all, all the way. And then the threaded ring comes on here. third one down um, for a lot of people at this point they'd need to bleed their fuel lines we have self bleeding fuel lines on our Westerbake engine here so thankfully that's the end of it no cracking a bolt open and trying to get fuel to spray out or anything like that that's that's the end for us so what we need to do when we start the engine next is let the lift pump run for just a, f a few minutes and it'll flush out any of the air bubbles in the line that we've created there and it'll be back in business for us.